Hello, hello everyone. My name is Tiffstra and welcome back to my Western Roman Empire campaign. Just before I end the turn, I want to start this recording and apparently we need a new governor. Oh yes, because my empire expanded, but um, then I would have to assign a candidate. Or this guy, which is not loyal to me whatsoever. Hmm. I, I guess. Wait, that's... Yeah, that's the guy I intended on actually having to be my heir, and he's not loyal. Well, thankfully, I do have quite a bit of influence now, so I should be able to get him back into the fold. But, let's give him uh, some power, shall we? He will eventually be the emperor. Okay, I am currently trying to stabilize Iberia. And Carthaginus is a region that has quite a lot of issues. So, let's get him there. Nice. Also, let's uh, find you a... Yeah, I'm gonna declare you an heir, but I also want to get you a wife. Which is gonna take some influence. Yeah, I think you just turn 18, so that's probably why. So, get an edit going. Hopefully something to do with happiness. I can go for straight out happiness, or I can go for... No, never mind, that's another... No, oh, no, never mind. That's another... Another faction thing all entirely. Good production and public order. Hmm. It's a bit straight out, but... So be it. I can also stamp out corruption, and... Increase the presence of uh, my my way of Christianity by just eliminating everything else. A lot of nice, nice ways. Yeah, but public order. Just straight up. Pretty easy, but yeah. I'm not, not in the mood for any fancy solutions. So secure loyalty to my own true-born son. That should be working. It would be a bit weird if it didn't, to be honest, but, well, this game hasn't, uh, well, it has amazed me before with uh, some of the things that it does, so uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it surprised me again. It might actually be an oxymoron. I'm not surprised if I am surprised, but then I'm not surprised. Hey! Well, not an oxymoron, but more a, a uh, dilemma. No, not a dilemma. What's the word I'm looking for? Paradox. Paradox. There is also a stellar game company. If you if you didn't know, and if you didn't know, well, go and play some of the games because they're awesome. Immensely complicated. Well, most of them. But still very, very fun once you actually get to learn them. No more raiding. Well, I said I would attack you. Uh, no. I'm probably not gonna do that. I'm gonna hope that they leave my territory without too much prodding. Because, as I said earlier, this isn't their only stack. So I would have to chase that down as well, and I'm not in the mood for that. Oh, and my, uh... Huh. My new client state is actually doing some work. Ultimately, their stack was defeated. Two of those stacks, I believe. Or maybe that was the same stack that just fled. Might have been. But anyway, they actually did a pretty stellar job there. Okay, so more humbug going around. For example, these guys invading again. And I think I know what their target might be. Because it has been the target for like... I don't know, six times, it feels like. More like three, but it feels like six. And I can actually get there. Is this... Yes, it is. No, I can't get there. I thought these guys weren't in double time. Damn. I, like, barely can't get there. And, by the way, look at this road system. Like, how far it actually allows me to travel. That's quite... Quite developed. That's pretty nice. But yeah, let's get these guys back. 
And mm, that actually helped a lot more than I thought it would. That's very, very nice. Uh, yeah, and then there's this, this thing. If I go and defend this, then I completely make this go away. I think also this will go away. Hmm. Trick of choice. But then again, I never really cared for that. But mm, I can't defend this thing with two Legio Cominitense. That's not nearly enough. I could have these guys go... Well, it's the same region, I guess. I can have those go down there and be ready to be like... To come in and reconquer this, although it will almost surely spark rebellion. I'm quite used to that by now. Hmm, a neighbor I'm not at war with. Amazing, I know. So yeah, I took a bit of uh, attrition, but so be it. We're gonna do the same here, because we're marching in winter, and winter tends not to be the best time when you don't want your soldiers to freeze to death. So, let's get that wheat mill under construction, so hopefully uh, that will solve some of our problems when it comes to food, because as you can see it's getting a bit low, and the next time uh, a climate change strikes, then I'll be, uh, well, won't be having the best of times. Although that won't happen until 4.32, so it's gonna take a while, but still, I don't, I do not want to not be prepared. If that makes any sense. Also, I really want to demolish this and start building a forum. So we get more public order in here because something is just, well, probably this. But it does grip me. Just give me uh, materials that I don't think I have elsewhere. But yeah, that makes it so that this region is very unstable. No, it does Never mind, it doesn't actually give me that. So, minus two to public order. It's not that huge. Though apparently, everything else just... Yeah? I don't know. It seems re uh, unreasonably unstable. Tax immigrants. Character. Characters? Ah. Difficulty level. Religious differences. Food. Food? Like, locally? I guess so, but... Overall, I'm doing fine. Oh, okay then. I guess that's not good enough. So, should I... Let's see, what's the fertility here? Um, reasonable. Not amazing. So, should I convert that? So, from that, I make 40. If I convert that, I make... Oh, yeah, I definitely should convert it. Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna keep this going for at least one more turn, but I want to demolish it and to make space for a capital building. Because I like the rest of the buildings to be, yeah. Especially this one. I know it's not the right cult, uh, religion at all, but still. Ooh. What are you doing here? You're a long way from home. But that doesn't mean anything because I don't have any agents nearby. Well, damn. I think this guy is the nearest, actually. Or maybe this guy. Anyway. So I had this army coming. To help. Well, mostly to help myself, but then the Markomats actually helped me quite a bit there. And they actually did buy me time, so I can actually get back here. And that's gonna cause me a lot of attrition, but it should should be all well and good, because these guys aren't in the best shapes either. Thank you, Markomans. Hopefully you don't break our alliance, like, immediately. Ooh, and ooh, yeah. This might be very bad for them, and for me. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens, but doesn't look particularly good. So, so uh, those fleets that, um, 
well, the transport fleets, they decided the second they saw these guys was, oh shit, we need to get to land. So they're right now somewhere in Greece and roaming around. Might be this guy, actually. It might be. One of them. Um, so yeah. Should I just go, like, hunting? For more transport fleets? I think I will. And this is Shallow Sea, thank you. I'll just take a quick poke and see if see if there are any easy targets out there. But with that, I think we've reached the end of this turn. Not anything I really want to do. Not anything I think I need to do. And especially nothing I need to do that doesn't cost any money. Which tends to be the sticking point. Oh yeah, let's give this guy some household things. So he's a governor. Hopefully some income. Hmm. I don't know how huge the immigration is in this province. I think it should be, well, at least some, some income from that. Hmm. Nothing really amazing here. If my aim is to increase my income. Well, I think we'll just take something and have it be have it be that. And yeah, now we can end the turn. And the Franks are retreating. It's pretty sweet of you. Pretty sweet of you considering that I didn't really have any defenses there. Although, they may choose to land. And if they land, well, then I have very, very few defenses. So, let's see if the, uh, the Allens, unless the turn has already passed, if the Allens decide to, um, to attack me. It should have a pretty easy target. Oh, and they flee. Like the cowards they are. Oh, and the second candidate comes. And this is actually a battle we can fight. Although, yeah, they have quite a bit of cavalry. Well, thankfully I can get myself some. Uh, but will they fight? I don't know about that. Okay, so... Just gonna keep that in mind, and then check out other stuff that I want to have done. And as I said, I want to have stuff done here. So, uh, what did I intend on building again? Something, which I... Oh yes, I wanted to convert this to gain more food. And hopefully that will... Well, it won't solve it, um, but it will definitely help out the situation when it comes to um, this province starving. And I guess it also will overall help out my situation. Like, yeah, overall. So, wheat fields and... Um, yeah, deconstruct this. And instead build a forum. And yeah, I can't convert to a forum. Just checking. But I pretty much knew that. Plus two. Plus six. Minus four. What if I do a bit of this? Plus 14. Minus 14. Okay. Um, and how are you doing if I move these guys over? Minus 6. Well, currently these guys have, have it the worst, so I guess we do that. I guess we also need stuff here. So maybe I go for a governor's house, which will give me 
public order plus 9 as opposed to 3, so it will give me 6 plus. And currently, that's what's needed to balance everything out. So, let's go for that. I have the money. Might have been better spent elsewhere, as I see in the comments quite often. But, I don't know. It was, it was what I think was the best alternative. By the way, have you started to like me? Please? Please? Are you brave or... Indifferent with empires. Yeah, it is improving. Are you brave or foolish? Or... But not to the point where they want to trade. Also, um, do you want to trade? Welcome. Finally, no. Still no trade, and I know I have a final. Oh. Yeah, these guys used to like me. Kinda like me. Uh, but now they don't. Hooray. Mostly because I am a great power. Do you just pay great powers? Oh, yeah, apparently you do. Also, you look a bit weird on that portrait. Oh well. Not gonna judge. Gonna judge, yeah. So I will be able to get down there, but I won't be able to reinforce. Or at least I don't think I will. Anyway, I think this army is gonna have to go one on one against them. If they actually want to fight, that is. Attack and I see that they have entrenched themselves, right? Yeah, this is a fortification. Oh dear. Hmm. It's a shame you can't... It's a shame you can't actually besiege stuff like this. Because it would make sense that you could, but apparently you can't. These guys are pretty good at attacking. These guys have pretty solid stats. I think I'm gonna try to take the chance, although... Hmm, I don't know. Ugh, the, the defensive towers can be a pain. Okay. So I don't think I should be able to reinforce, but that's a lesson I learned in Rome, Rome 2. So I don't know, does that still apply here? It might not. Yeah, apparently. Oh. So, force marching armies will actually be able to reinforce. Can't say I expected that. Hmm. I guess that's just a thing I'm taking for granted. That it has been the same in Attila as it was in Rome 2. And then it was changed, and I never checked it. So. Oh well. Now is a. Uh, well, that was a very good time for that to to actually work the other way from what I expected it to. Still, I think um, the settlements should have towers, right? Yeah, I might have some issues there. We'll see, though. Can I, like, hack down any of the walls? Maybe. Probably won't be a good idea. But really, attacking this may not have been a good idea at all anyway, so... Yeah, I'll start the deployment. That's a pretty tight capture circle. This may be a bit silly of me, dividing up this, this harshly. The reinforcements will come in from there. Okay. 
Yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see um, what the enemy cavalry does. And if, if they try to strike out or not. Because if they do, I may be in great, great danger. If they don't, well, then I think I have the advantage. Anyway, I'm going to wait for reinforcements. Good news! Additional forces have arrived! Yeah, it's really unfortunate that I mainly have spare units. Well, I guess it's great against the enemy cavalry units, but it's not re it doesn't really have the punching power that these guys have. The enemy, has been sighted. the enemy approaches, you say? Well, I don't know. I don't know how correct that is. Also, this is a bit unfair. You can actually get decent flanking shots on me. Probably gonna take way too long to actually burn it down. Probably to the point where I lose all my horsemen. I can try for a little while and just have a poke and see what happens. I might as well. Let's get up to the range here, but not past it. Fire damage, 3%, and I've lost 6 men. Yeah, that, that's not gonna work. That's just a waste of lives. A waste of mercenary lives, which could probably be better wasted elsewhere. Anyway, I'm not gonna attack until these guys get there, so let's wait for them to actually get in position and have them rest up for a few seconds. I know this is wide open, by the way. I am well aware. But by the time I get troops around there, it probably won't be. Although, I guess I could try. Let's see. Four units? Yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna have to be enough. And is this a capture point, or is it morale? Is it the same thing as it, it tends to be? Why can't I see the effect of it? Yeah, I'm hovering over. Nothing is showing. I don't know. It might be, it might not be. Apparently. And here we can see the enemy shuffling about and doing exactly what they should do in that situation. So, good on them. Still completely undefended, although these guys have, haven't nearly gotten into position yet. Exhausted. Well, can't say I blame them. Okay, they are surrounded. But will it be enough? I actually don't think so. But it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. Palatina. 
Oh yeah, didn't give those guys time to rest. That was a little blunder, but... Mm. Thankfully, they rest up pretty quickly in this game. Still very tired. Hmm. I just boasted that you very quickly get back in shape, and now you decided it was a time for not doing that. Oh, you're just gonna give me the way in? Well, I'm not gonna complain about that. Uh, still very tired. Fuck it. Just. Just attack. I need to push through this as quickly as I can. They're probably... yes, they are. They're exhausted again. Yeah, that... That's the one blend I will say I did here. I didn't rest these guys up. Although, attacking in and of itself might have been a blunder. Although... These cavalrymen routing... Does definitely give me hope here. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to do with these guys. Though placing them right next to the towers might not be the best thing. Yeah, I'm going to kill them. Um, gonna take a little while, but it's not gonna be that bad, I think. And these towers are really doing their best to kill me. And they're doing a good job of it. Can you please throw your stuff before you attack? Apparently not. That's a bit hard. Yeah, all on the general. Oh, enemy cavalry outside here. Well, I have some cavalry of my own, so try to fix that. Let's see if these try these guys try to engage here. No. Do I get sucked in? Probably because of that. Oh. Let me see. No, I actually didn't. That was slightly surprising. Oh, they're already routed. Well, I can use my guys as hammer and anvils. For some time. And these guys must have absolutely crappy um, capture power, or whatever it's called. Because it's not going that quickly whatsoever. And I don't think this formation is going to help. Although they are taking some of the fire, so I guess it does help. So never mind me, I'm I'm just a liar, apparently. Nice, nice. Now they should probably, probably shatter. 
I know these guys have been uh, been wavering for a while, so hopefully this will be the there we go, the nail in the coffin. So it turns out it was the right thing to attack, although it wasn't that clear to me initially. And finally, the towers are gone. Most of them. And I won't give up on this lot, eh? so let's give chase. Although the infantry is doing a pretty good job of it, so... Uh, well, when I say a good job, some of them are doing a good job. Well, these guys are doing a good job on killing. Well, 14 men, I don't know. But then again, spears haven't really... have never been the best thing to kill anything with. Except for cavalry, of course. Yeah, those guys. You heard me correctly the first time. Okay, cavalry is still bugging out a bit. I guess that could be excused. A nine and eight. And fifteen. Okay. Yeah. Take care of those guys and I think we should be good. Those guys and these guys. At least thin them out a little bit. There we go, and... Are you just not doing what I tell you to do? Like, ever? That's probably, like, the third or fourth time I actually gave them that order. And finally, they actually followed it through. So, thank you. Finally. Anyway. Let's see, 21. 17. I'm satisfied. A decisive victory. Oh, yeah. I needed that. Of course, there are other armies lurking around. <laughs> But this one is dead. Look at this. 259. 226. And I don't have more time. Because the game said so. I'm not allowed to read the resource screen. Yep. Pretty good. Is that all? Thank you. Ready for battle. Okay. What does Rome require? So where do I go now with these guys? I don't know. Probably back. No, I don't really need them back home again. Although most of that is due to this priest, so I may need them back home again. Yeah, no instability or anything to burn off. So I don't have that. So maybe back home again? Maybe not. Maybe go on the offensive. I don't know. Really want to take care of the Allens once and for all. Although they probably have like three armies to get now. Since they have had a few turns to not be bothered by me. Actually, let's get you there, and these guys there. Okay. So, that is gonna be it for this part. It's gonna be a bit over time, but so be it. Anyway, I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this part. I know why I did. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye for now.